Hi, this is Kevin for Pixavert.com. This is what we're going to be working on in the next few videos. We're going to be creating this animated text. I've worked on the text materials to give it a different color, change the reflective properties, and we've basically got rid of those blown highlights that we were getting in the text. What I want to do in the next video is to look at animation. In this video, I want to look at positioning things in the 3D environment. So what, what we've got here is basically our text. And our text has been placed in this kind of fake ass 3D environment, which acts as a backdrop. And that is actually the technical term. Uh, use it with your colleagues and earn their admiration. <laughs> What our fake ass backdrop consists of is basically three identical layers rotated in different ways to give us kind of a back wall, a floor and a side wall. And as long as the camera movements aren't too dramatic, we should be able to completely cover up our background, which is the environment layer. If I just start solo the environment layer, you can see that we've added a blur to it, but it still doesn't look it still doesn't look like uh, what we would want to see in the back background. So we've added these three layers and these three layers, three layers are made up of one pre-comp consisting of a couple of layers. I'm just going to open up the pre-comp so you can see what I've done here. I've just created a red solid color layer, put a mask around it and we've got a black solid color. I've added a blue radial gradient to it just to give a bit of interest and because black doesn't really reflect very well. I'm going to go back to our comp and um, as you can see, things look pretty good for this animation. The only thing I'm worried about is that we might not have uh, enough color in this composition. But I'll live with that. The main 3D controls in After Effects are the camera, the rotation tool, which is W on the keyboard, and the move tool, or the selection tool. What we want to do is to take one of our pre-comps let me switch these guys off and also I'm going to I'll leave the text on for the time being let me grab the pre-comp and drag it down here now the pre-comp comes in as a 2D layer and if I just switch off this video you'll be able to see it this is our pre-comp here and let me switch off the text as well actually let me change this down to fast draft so we can work easily and as you can see, we've got our animation there. There's no interaction going on between the text and the 2D layer because it is a 2D layer. We're going to turn the 2D layer into a 3D layer. And what you'll see is that the 3D layer now responds to the camera movements that we've already uh, programmed into our camera layer. It makes it difficult to position things when they are floating around in 3D space. One thing that we can do to make it easier to position things is, for instance, we could create a second camera. Let's choose layer new camera. And we can turn off the first camera and change the camera here to camera two. And that will allow us to work in 3D in the 3D workspace using a camera that's still in its original default orientation. The other thing we can do is just to work with with the a, a different completely different view which is to choose one of the multiple view options. So if I choose two views, two views horizontal, we get two screens and this can help us to position our 3D objects. So let's give this a try. We're going to choose the move tool or the selection tool and we are going to take our pre-comp layer. Actually I'm going to duplicate that a couple of times. Switch off the duplicates and we'll start moving this around. So this is our layer. We get the, the three controls the Y, X and Z. I want to move this back a fair amount so, so I'm just going to put it just just on the edge of the text there and you can see here it's just b b just after the text we can move it so that it's kind of like slicing through into the text and we can actually move it in front of that light there so it's easy to position things using this particular viewpoint uh, we've got the top view here we can actually change that look at the back view and there are other options there 
So I'm going to work with the top view and we're going to go to the second layer, switch this guy off and we can now rotate this and to rotate this we hit W on the keyboard. Um, I want to rotate this using I think the Y axis. So I'm going in the wrong direction. Let me turn this to the right and if I hold down shift we can get it to snap into a 90 degree position. Uh, bring back the move tool, move that to the left and we can go to our third object and again do a, a similar thing to make that into the floor and then again do a rotation there to make that into the floor. So we'll bring up the rotate tool. I think this needs an X rotation again I'll hold down shift so that it snaps into 90 degree into the 90 degree position there we are we can see it snapped into 90 degrees and we can come over here V to bring up the move tool and just move this down until it forms a nice floor and we can scale it by going to the corner and just dragging out like that and I'm gonna go and scale the other guy as well turn that on and we'll scale that up a little bit and we definitely need to scale this one up here so I'm just gonna grab and scale and we can now turn on our other camera we'll switch this guy off turn this guy on change our camera view to camera one and we'll go back to our one view and you can see that we've uh, positioned things around a little bit we can move our camera and you can see we've got our nice little fake ass uh, 3d environment there it's not perfect it needs to be repositioned a little bit but once you get the hang of it it's actually very easy to work inside of the 3d work environment in after effects uh, i'm going to turn this back to the final quality and we'll see what that looks like in final quality so definitely a bit of work to be done there but you can see the, the, the basic technique um, move, rotate, scale easy as pie so that's going to be it for this particular video we'll move on to the animation in the next video hope you found that useful thanks for watching, Till next time, take care, bye mm -hmm.